I'm Cadence McKenna outside the Hippodrome in downtown Waco, where a young local filmmaker is preparing to put his talents on the silver screen, courtesy of the Waco Independent Film Festival. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I have to go, and I'm so glad I went. Matthew Ruggieri has been making films his whole life, but his world was forever changed the day he made a documentary about Ben Christie. He's a Baylor alumni who started his own wildlife rehabilitation facility here in Waco. I just kind of submitted to it on a whim and I wasn't really expecting much because I'm a student and I'm competing against, you know, professionals. He started working on the film last December. Now, his documentary is being shown at the Waco Indie Film Festival. And so that was really hard. It was basically like go to school, come home, edit until midnight and then repeat for two weeks straight. Carrie Wick is on the committee that selects the films for the festival. From the 120 films submitted, only 20 were selected. I think there's often something relatable that you can find in them that really resonates with you and that you can appreciate and go, hey, I know what that feels like. Matthew told me his favorite part of the filmmaking process. The most rewarding thing is to see like people's faces get lit up as they watch your film and uh, providing them with a different perspective on things. In my case, it's uh, wildlife rehabilitation and also um, you know, not giving up on your dreams. Matthew's film is a part of the family-friendly block. You can buy tickets for $5. This whole Waco Indie Film Festival is about bringing people together to uh, see films they've never seen before and just uh, be open to new ideas. Matthew's film will be shown at the Hippodrome on July 20th at 1 p.m. For more information, check out this story on our website. Your neighborhood reporter in Robinson, I'm Cadence McKenna.